Yo, yo, what up? All right, so today's lesson. You don't actually need to gain muscle, okay? The look that the majority of you guys are looking for is actually from having low body fat levels. You gotta get leaner to actually see those muscles, right? And there's a quick way to determine where your body fat levels are, okay? Do you have a six pack? If not, you're fat, okay? Period, right? And the, the look that pretty much everybody's looking for, where you have like the lines in the arms, you know, the chest is popping, the veins are popping, the abs are popping, that's gonna come from having low body fat levels, okay? And in order to get to low body fat levels, you gotta fucking diet, baby. You gotta fucking create a calorie deficit, 90% of your fat loss, so you can actually get lean, right? To get that definition, to get those muscles popping, you gotta get, you, you gotta dial in your diet, your macros, okay? 90% of your results are gonna come from what you put in your fucking mouth, all right? Food is business. It is business. You eat a specific amount of food each day to create a specific result. All right? You don't eat for fucking pleasure. Treat food like business. It's a numbers game. And as long as you do that, and you do it consistently, and you create a calorie deficit, and you train every single day, yes, you heard me correctly, every single day, motherfuckers, okay? You'll lose fat, and you'll get those muscles out. Okay? That's it. That's all it is, baby. That's all it is. Okay? Fat loss is two things, man. It's two things. Limit your calorie intake every day by hitting your fucking macros, primarily focusing on your protein and your fats because these are essential macronutrients that you have to fucking have or you can die, okay? You do not need the inessential one, which is the carbohydrates, okay? The carbohydrates. That's why you're fucking fat because you, all you motherfuckers eat is carbohydrates, okay? Your diet consists of fucking bread and pasta and cereal and fucking sports drinks and, and uh, fucking Starbucks and bullshit, right? Not getting any fucking protein, not getting any fats, okay? Fats are vital to your health, by the way, okay? Forget everything you've ever heard about fats being the villain, all right? Fats are actually vital for human health and especially for you fellas, for your testosterone levels. Okay, you slash fats, your test levels are gone. Gone. Okay, you might as well just start wearing some fucking panties and buy some tampons. Okay, because your test levels are gone. All right, fats are vital for your body to function optimally. Forget everything you've ever heard about nutrition because that whole low fat era, okay, in case you've never heard me say this before, you can actually Google this. Go Google this right now. Go Google the phrase. Uh, sugar industry pays Harvard scientists, okay? Back in the 1970s, sugar industry paid Harvard scientists to point blame on fats as to why people were starting to get heart disease when all along it was fucking sugar and grains, which grains are sugar to your body, okay? Um, so that was that whole thing was based off a lie. And still even today, listen to the, just a few months ago, the fucking government, fucking government tells you that fucking Lucky Charms and Cheerios are healthier than steak and eggs, okay? These motherfuckers want you dead, all right? They want you dead. That's why they tell you that shit. And they're fucking run by the sugar industry, right? They're trying to feed the sugar industry, right? Trying to get more people to buy those products, right? So the whole fucking system is corrupt, okay? We're not even gonna go there right now, but just know, don't follow any fucking government guidelines on anything, ever, because it is not in your best interest, ever, okay? When it comes to food, you do not listen to those motherfuckers or anything when it comes to your health. Do not listen to those motherfuckers because their agenda is not the same agenda you have. It's the opposite, all right? But anyway, when it comes to what you guys want, and typically for dudes to, to have abs, to be lean, right? To get definition, you gotta be single digit body fat, typically, right? So you need to be like, 9% or less, right? Most of you guys are like 25, 28%. The average dude's like fucking carrying 50 pounds of fucking extra fat, all right? You guys are fucking fat right now, all right? It's disgusting, okay? It's gross. And 
yeah and and it's funny because a lot of you guys think that I'm just being mean to you guys but here's the thing the person that you have to become over this journey of getting fit because fitness is personal development in case nobody's ever told you that before fitness is personal development and the person that you have to become in order to achieve fitness is a completely different savage than your current little bitch ass fat bastard motherfucker ass that you have right now okay he's a weak little bitch all right and you cannot get that fit body being that weak little bitch right because we have we basically have two voices okay you got your bitch voice and your beast voice right the one you listen to the most determines what you look like determines what kind of life you have most you motherfuckers I can't get out of bed in the morning I'm not a morning person it's so cold outside I'm tired I just need more sleep I was up late last night <laughs> I just I have to have a cheat meal it's so hard eating healthy little bitches okay little bitches that's why you motherfuckers are fat this is disappointment and disgrace to the human race you're a fucking disgrace to men. Now, what I was going with that is, as you evolve into this fucking savage that you have to become in order for you to achieve fitness success, right? Because you gotta channel that inner beast, right? And that little bitch speaks up and is like, I'm tired, you should just hit snooze. You say, no, motherfucker, feet on the floor. Go get your ass to the gym right now, right? You gotta channel that one, right? But what you're gonna learn is, over time, as you develop, that beast right you feed that one and it gets stronger and you start to become stronger mentally and physically you're gonna start to see the flaws in men today like you're literally gonna start looking at other men going god damn men today are fucking pussies I kid you not all my clients are like this I kid you not and they at one point were that way all my clients at one point were were fat bastards that listen to their bitch voices right and then comes me, I fucking call them out on their shit, they change their habits, they get ripped, right? And then they start looking at all the other men going, damn, men today are pussies. They are, fucking pussies. This is, ex I hear the same thing from women. Fellas, let me, let me tell you something, man. Let's, let me tell you something. If you are a single man, okay? You want a single man, ladies? Ladies, you need to log off right now because I'm about to real talk my fellas. Okay, fellas, you want a hack to getting lots of fucking pussy? You want a hack to getting so much pussy that you don't even have time to even deal with it? Do you want women slipping in your DMs? Women chasing you down? Women approaching you in public? Okay, get your ass fucking ripped and watch what happens. Because there's such a shortage of fit men today there's literally no fucking competition and i'm married i don't even need any women and they still flocking to me okay i get dms all the fucking time all the fucking time i go to the gym to work out bitches surrounding me trying to make trying to trying to get my attention all dancing around and shit coming all close i posted a video just last week in my stories i had four girls i'm sitting there on the bench four girls within just feet of me okay one of them doing some stiff leg dead deadlifts right next to me with her ass in my face. Literally, ass in my face. And I posted a little a video of it in the mirror. And I'm like, see, this is what I deal with every day. This is what I deal with. I'm, I'm fucking married, right? I don't even, I need you guys to get fit so you can take these bitches. Okay, I don't need them. All right? But that's the heck, okay? And that also applies to you for you guys that are men or that are married. Because this is also one of the top complaints I get from married women. Literally, word for word, my husband's fat, he's let himself go, it's disgusting, and I don't want to have sex with him. Straight up. Straight up. Okay? Telling you the straight up raw fucking truths. This is the real world that you are fucking living in right here. Okay? So, um, but anyways, for back to you single guys. Okay, if you're single, okay, easiest way to get women, bruh. I learned this a long, 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 long time ago. Like, I actually learned this when I was a teenager, right? Because one of the, and I'll tell you a little quick little story. I learned this as a teenager. And I had actually always wanted abs since I was like eight years old. Because I wanted to look like a little superhero, you know? And, um, and I remember I told, my, I told my uncle at the time, 
And my uncle's like my big brother. And I'm like, hey, man. And he's the one that like introduced me to like lifting weights and stuff like that, right? And I said, hey, how do I get, how do I get abs like a superhero? How do I, how do I, how do I get abs like that? And he goes, brother, abs aren't in our family. And he said it, and he actually was telling the truth, because they weren't. Nobody in our fucking family had a fucking six pack, man. Everybody's fat. I'm from Texas, man. Do you know how fat people are in fucking Texas? People fat as fuck. Okay? And uh, and so when he said that, his belief was it was genetic, right? And I'm eight years old at the time, and I'm like, bullshit, I'm gonna be the first, right? And now I am, right? So, anyways, I learned this whenever I was a teenager. Was at, at the time, because I grew up, man, I was like really small. Grew up, I was poor, right? So I grew up off fucking top ramen and pasta because we were poor, right? And I was small, scrawny, you know, didn't ever get to eat any protein and shit, right? And I was short too, right? Which isn't the greatest thing when you're trying to hunt girls, right? And I got an amazing personality and I'm lots of fun and shit, so I never really had a problem with chicks, but I, but I always knew. I'm like, you know what? I'm probably gonna be really short, but I bet you if I get really ripped, I'll never have a problem with women. I was right, okay? So. Uh, but anyways, when I was 16, uh, this cheerleader that I had a crush on, okay, she was one, I had a crush on this girl for years, man, but I really, like, I knew I was way out of my league with this one at that point in my life, right, right now she'd be out of her league, right, <laughs> but back then, I wasn't in her league at that point, right, and, um, I remember I was, I was sitting next to her, and she was with another one of her cheerleading girlfriends, and one of my buddies walked by, who, in high school was a fucking shredded savage. He was ripped as fuck. Okay, he looked he looked like fucking Greek god. We were like 16, 17, man. He looked amazing. Still does to this day. Okay. And uh he happened to walk by shirtless. And that crush that I had, she was like, she was like, oh my god, he's so hot. And boom! That moment right there validated what I had already thought. And was already believing since the time that I was eight years old, right? And completely ignited the fire to kind of figure out the fucking hack on how to get a fucking six pack, okay? Took me a really long time to figure it out, right? Really long time. And I kind of had them a little bit, you know, 18, 19, 20, a little bit, you know, um, because I was in the Marine Corps, you know, I used to work out for fucking hours every day, but they weren't ever, ever like chiseled, right? Uh, but I had them, and it, and and of course, exactly what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> Tons of women, okay, uh, which validated what I had already thought all along, anyway, right? And this is why I have never in my life, never, not even once, ever had to approach women because they've always come to me. And since the internet hit, dude, they slip in my fucking DMs constantly, still to this day. I post about my wife and shit all the time. They still slip in my DMs, right? Go out and my wife and I will go to like a, a club or like a fucking music festival. I get hit on right in front of her, right next to her. And I'm like, I literally got to like flash my ring and shit. Like, no joke. Because fitness is so fucking rare. And all the women are looking for fit men who are strong, confident, and ambitious. Right? They're all attracted to it. Right? But they're non-existent. It's literally less than 1% of the population. When just 50 years ago, 50 years ago, the average dude had abs. That was average. That was normal, right? Go look at the fucking, I've posted this video many times on my social. Uh, it's a video of fucking a high school uh, PE program. And all the motherfuckers were shredded savages, right? In, the, in like the 1960s, right? Can't even find that shit today, right? Everybody's fat, like super fat, right? But. Like I was saying, the look that you guys want doesn't come from gaining muscle. All you guys think that you, you gotta go, go go to the gym and fucking get swole and you're gonna see your muscles, you're not. Until you get that fat off, you can go try and gain muscle and live to gain muscle. You're just gonna be fucking fatter. It, it, what, what, it, all it's gonna do is make you look fluffier, right? So if you add a bunch of muscle and keep your body fat stay the same, you're just gonna look like the fucking Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. That's all you're gonna look like, okay? You're still never gonna see the muscles. So in order for you to see the muscles, you gotta get to low body fat levels, right? So what I like to tell my men is, look, get fucking ripped, and if you wanna get bigger once you get ripped, 
right? If you want to add more size, which a lot of guys do, they want to get bigger arms, chest, back, things like that, right? Then what we do is reverse diet slowly over time. And then, which basically just means we just start to slowly add calories back to your diet while you're staying lean, right? You got to be super, super disciplined. You got to um, still track your fucking macro, still going to be on top of your game, and you got to be training in order to, 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 to actually build muscle. So you should always be focusing on progressive overload, okay? Um, but you get shredded first, and then you spend life growing, right? And that's the proper process on how you do it. You never want to do the fucking old school cut bulk bullshit, okay? That's fucking stupid, all right? You always see these motherfuckers on bulking. No, bitch, you've been fat for 15 years. You ain't ever seen your fucking abs one time. You a fucking weak, undisciplined bastard trying to act like, oh, I'm bulking. Bitch, you look exactly the same. You just gotten fatter over the past few years, right? You ain't fucking bulking, all right? You ain't got a fucking six pack. You got no fucking business trying to focus on growing muscle, right? Your primary focus should be to get lean, stay lean, reverse diet, and then spend life growing. Because muscle growth is a slow process, guys. Like, you can get, like, most of you guys could get fucking shredded. Like, most of you guys could get shredded. And seriously, like, anywhere from fucking 8 to fucking 20 weeks. If you're a savage. Right? Like, most of my dudes get shredded as fuck within 12 weeks. The, the beasts. Right? Track their macros. They're on point with their food from day one. They fucking burn in a thousand calories a day in workouts, right? Boom. Like some of the images that I just posted in my uh, stories, go check them out. Those guys got that shit fast. So, and it was because they're fucking savages, right? They aren't, aren't your, your average, normal, little bitch, whiny ass, fucking I'm offended, snowflake ass motherfuckers of today that we have in America today, right? So, they're fucking savages, okay? So... Remember this, when it comes to the body that you want, you have to get rid of body fat. It is body fat you have to reduce, okay, while focusing on growth. Now, if you don't know what progressive overload is, I'll kind of give you a little info on that real fast. So progressive overload, all that is, is basically in order to force your muscles to grow, you have to consistently overload them, right? So you could literally do the exact same fucking exercises for for like the rest of your life, right? And as long as you progressively overloaded them week by week by week, you would consistently make gains, right? Now muscle growth is a super slow process, okay? As a seasoned veteran, if you're killing it, you're lucky if you can gain 12 pounds in a year, man. Like, it's it, it, you're not gonna gain very much, all right? You're gonna, once you get, after those little beginner gains that you get when you've gone from not working out to actually working out, you're not gonna get much. You're talking about like a half pound a week, Right, like it's it's really not gonna be very much, and that's killing yourself. Okay, but progressive overload, I like to do mine because there's three ways you can do it: adding reps, adding weight, or adding an extra set. Okay, so the way that I like to do it is I like to teach people to do it via reps first before we add weight or add another set. Okay, so how that would look is what you would do is you would basically let's say that you bench press. 225 for five reps this week, right? For five sets, okay? So that would be the basics, right? So you did 225 by five, right? Next week, your goal would be to do 225 for six reps, right? So you try and do six reps per set, and you probably won't even be able to get all five sets, right? You might only get like two of them or three of them or maybe four, maybe five, right? Um, and then the next week, try and do seven. The next week, try and do eight. The next week, try and do nine. And it may take you fucking six months to really get to where you can do like five sets of say 10 or 12. Once you hit to where you can do all sets with like five or, or, or uh, 10 or 12 reps, right? Then add weight, go right back down to five reps. So let's say I was doing 225 for five reps for six months, okay? It took me that long to get to where I could do 10 reps, right? When I hit 10 reps for all five sets, right? Now we increase the weight and we go back to five. So we probably add another, you know, we go up to say 255, right? And then start back over five by five, right? That's progressive overload. That right there is how you consistently gain muscle and gain, uh, and how you should be training week by week anyway. But you got to remember 
your primary goal is to get lean first. Because if you're not lean, you're just going to look like shit. Okay? So if you don't have visible abs, you're too fat. You need to focus on getting lean first. And then once you're there, like I said, reverse diet, spend life progressively overloading so you can build more muscle if you want to get bigger. Right? Now, I've personally been like I'm about 155 right now maybe 154 right I've been as heavy as 166 and even leaner than I am right now and fucking yoked bro for me only being five foot six it's fucking yoked all right and I hated it I hated it it was so uncomfortable my fucking lats were chafed all the time from my arm rubbing against it. My feet hurt all the time from the extra weight. It was just like, I did not enjoy it at all. And then when I would go run, like on the weekends, I usually take my clients out and go run trails and shit and, or go to Thousand Steps Beach and do workouts and, uh, and do some high intensity type shit and intervals and stuff. And when I was heavier, too, I was fucking dying like a fat kid, okay? Because <laughs> carrying all that extra muscle. And I was like, man, I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> I'm going back to my normal fighting weight. I'm going back to like 150, 155. Going back to my normal fighting weight. So guess what I did to lose that weight? After I spent like quite some time putting all that muscle on. Guess what I did? Cardio. Okay, that's what I did. Cardio to lose the muscle. Went and started doing a bunch of cardio. <sighs> lost all the muscle. Okay, so there's a little lesson for you. Cardio is not how you lose fat. Cardio is you can actually get shredded completely with doing zero fucking cardio if your macros are on point and if you train super intensely. So even though you should be doing progressive overload, you should also be doing supersets, triple sets, things like that to increase your calorie output while you're training, right? So for example, let's take bench press again. Say you're doing bench press for 225, right? I like to actually train my back and chest together, right? So, um, so I would say do like, 225 by five, then do some barbell rows and maybe like some pull-ups, right? Do three mo three moves, rest for like 90 seconds, repeat, okay? That's how I train. That's how I would do it, right? So, and that's also so I can burn more calories throughout my workout and get a lot more done, right? So, um, but anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for tuning in. And for those of you guys that engaged, I'll actually answer your questions later if you have some. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today. We'll see you next time.